Yo, what's up everyone? This is your boy EFKG401 over here. Uh coming at you guys with another video. And um I'm sure everybody has been watching this political coverage the last few days. Um I'll be honest with you, it's literally at the fucking point of go away. Um we all have fucking lives, but um thank god the major news outlets just reported this and um it's official. Joe Biden is now the president-elect of the United States. Uh, Kamala Harris is now the vice president-elect of the United States, mocking this uh, long overdue historic milestone for women. She's actually going to be the first vice president of the United States when it comes to females. Uh, she's also a black African-American. Uh, I, I can't say African-American, but she's a black woman. Uh, because uh, her family ties come from Jamaica. Uh, she's actually Indian too. She's got a little bit of that. So Asian women is put in there as well. And women of color. And I got to say this. Because um, I'm I'm just going to try to be unbiased as I can on here in this commentary. But, you know, first and foremost, whoever voted for Joe Biden, congratulations. I'm not going to tell you who I voted for. Um... But, but, I will say this, um, I'm just hoping, and I really hope it happens, but I really doubt it, that he heals this country and rebuilds this country, because this is a country that's divided right now, um, and it's not just um, if you're a Republican or a Democrat. Now, to me, I call the Republican Party now the Trump Party. Because, you know, Donald Trump is the Republican Party and he will be the Republican Party when he leaves office. I guarantee you that. But we got a major problem here in this country. And it's not just racial inequality. It's not about, you know, police brutality. The one thing that we have a big problem right now is COVID-19. And I say that because of the fact that my niece got exposed to this virus and I'm praying to God she does not get this virus because she does have asthma and you know about COVID-19. Um, it just attacks you. If you're completely healthy and asymptomatic, you'll be fine. But if you have like some pre-existing conditions, it will come after you and... I don't know how my niece got this. I think it was a Halloween party that she went to last week. But it's not just her. Members of her family, uh, her father, got COVID-19. Her uncles got COVID-19. Her aunt got COVID-19. In fact, her grandfather uh, just uh, died from this the other day. And he had pre-existing conditions and I told the family, you know, my thoughts and my prayers, and I'm thinking about them right now, but also, too, I'm kind of afraid for my sister, because if she did spread this to my sister, my sister also has, like, high blood pressure, this and that, but um, we don't know. She did the test. My sister um, was going to do the COVID test. It's all booked up in here, and Quite obviously, um, it is because, you know, a lot of people getting tested and the cases are going up. You know, <clears throat> we just hit a record day yesterday. I think it was like 120,000 uh, new COVID cases. So I'm just hoping this is a guy that can fix this shit, man. We all want to get back to normal here. I do. I mean, I fucking miss doing shit that I was doing last summer. But, yeah. I will say this, too. Congratulations to Joe Biden. Um, hope he fixes this country. I I have my doubts on that. Um, I'm going to try to get back here uh, later today because um, I just got uh, 
a box here uh, from one of my uh, YouTube subscribers uh, congratulating me on the thousand um, trash hole that I did for subscribers. So I'm going to unbox whatever this person got me. So um, looking forward to that. Until then, I am out. Peace.